Good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, Miss. Good Hi. evening. Good evening. Hi, guys. Good evening. How are you? How you doing? So, Mr. Castaneda, good evening. Great to see hello. you. Abigail, Carla, good evening, guys. How are you? How you doing? Griselda, good evening. Yvette, great to see you. How you doing? Hi, Debra. Hi, Manuel. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. 
Good evening, Lupita. Thank you for joining. Um, so good evening, guys. Happy Monday. I hope your Monday is going well and you're having a really nice time. Um, people say that Mondays are hard, but hopefully not in your case. Guys, uh, ¿cómo estuvo su fin de? How was your weekend? Everything good? You had a good one? Did you rest a little? Did you rest? Did you sleep? Gracias, guys, por la camarita tan bien. So thank you so much for activating your camera para que nos podamos ver, right? So we can see you. That's really, really nice. Um, well, guys, uh, welcome to part of Steel Week number one. Gracias a quienes ya empezaron a trabajar con la platform. Um, Manuel, eh, creo que su cámara le está bailando, pero eh, es un problema con Zoom. So, uh, se gusta al final ya de la intenté, clase. Ya no, intenté no le funciona con la actualización. Ya intenté actualizarlo, pero lo mismo me dio. Bueno, mm, fíjese que el antes mío de ingresar se... ahorita lo actualizó. Uh -huh. Mm, probablemente sea eso eh, y le dio en déjeme ver dónde está la acción pues eh, yo tenía exactamente si se recuerdan el primer día that was bad <laughs> that was really bad um, let me take a look so cuando entra está en la computadora verdad you're in the computer porque creo que en el teléfono no da ese problema yes, yes. But computer. in the yeah, but in the computer, let me see. Está tomando un poquito de tiempo here, but pero hay una opción, right? Donde se puede eh, descargar la última actualización o el último cambio. Eh, el mío toma quizás unas dos horas. So oh, I don't remember. Déjeme buscarlo y ya le digo a ah, dónde lo puede encontrar, cause. Eh, porque seguramente es eso, probably es just de, de la última actualización de Zoom, la que le está dando uh, problema, but let me find. Ok. I don't, I don't, I don't remember, to be honest, lo estoy buscando, pero no me parece. Uh, probablemente que I don't have more, but let me check and I'll let you know. But mientras tanto, eh, probemos si gusta con la cámara encendida y si no, well. Eh, sé que está por ahí. <laughs> I'm going to be calling you. Um, so, no, Eric, no sé good evening. Great to see you. Yeah, it's okay. That's totally fine. Uh, okay, gracias por la cámara, Carla. Thank you so much for that. Great to see you there. Miss, no trabajo ahora, so no shift. Regresé temprano, teacher. Ay, very nice. Ok. Sí. Es, but, ¿descansa dos días? ¿Descansa solo un día o es solo unas horas? Ya son hours. No, teacher. Yo trabajo de lunes a viernes. Ah, pero okay. hago, hago turnos así extra. Extra. Ah, ok. Yeah. Got it, got it. Extra money. <laughs> ok. Extra money. I understand. That's necessary too. Okay, guys, but it's really nice to see you. Well, um, el día de ahora, guys, vamos a trabajar mucho vocabulario. We're going to be checking some vocabulary to describe personality. La semana anterior, yo sé que algunos temas estuvieron un poquito confusos. Um, probably, algunos se han quedado como like, what is going? No, lo siento bien difícil. But no se preocupen. Algunos temas gramaticales solo eh, necesitamos introducirlos. Later, uh, in intermediate, in advanced levels, van a practicarlos. But eh, at the moment, we are not going to eh, work too much on those, right? No vamos a trabajar mucho en, like, in those parts. So today, vamos a trabajar más with adjectives, eh, descripciones, personality. Vamos a hacer un repaso de simple present. Um, en caso no recuerden, the first part. And super importante too, tenemos pendiente los, un par de verbos en pasado, guys. Eh, so, espero que hayan revisado un poquito. That you reviewed some verbs que intentaron al menos revisarlos, right? Al menos tener una idea de what is the past eh, para que ya cuando entremos a pasados no sea de golpe. This is not like 
um, it's not gonna be that hard, right? So uh, to get us started, guys, uh, hi, Isaias, good evening, great to see you too. And thank you for the camera as well. Um, guys, to get us started, let's present a Let me show you a little uh, presentation. Tengo un par de objetos. I have some objects. And I want you to give me, or I want you to describe the objects, right? I want you to give me a short description of these pictures. So let's get started with the car. Guys, what comes to your mind? ¿Qué se les ocurre? What comes to your mind with the car? What can you tell me about this car? Uh, very fast. Okay, so it is very fast. This is uh, nice color car. Green. It's a nice car. It's color green. Yeah, okay, very good. Uh, Give me more, give me more. There are a lot of things. Hay muchas cosas que podemos decir. What else? ¿Qué más se les ocurre? It's expensive. It is expensive. I agree with you, yes? <clears throat> Anybody else? Uh, it is for two people. Oh, okay. So it is for two people. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm sending uh, the, the link for your classmates. Okay, so it is for two people, yes. It is expensive, it is green color, it is supposed to be for two people. ¿Qué más se les ocurre? What else comes to your mind? Comfortable. Comfortable. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, probably. So it looks kind of, or maybe not. <laughs> yeah, it looks very comfortable too. Okay, very good. Now, guys, let's go with the door. Vamos con la, la muñeca, right? Let's go with the door. What can you tell me about this door, guys? What's going on? So we're going to talk about this one, right? Yeah. Is her, her, her name is Annabella. <laughs> okay, so her name is Annabelle. Well, Annabelle. yeah, okay. Mm. From the horror, right? From the movie. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So her name is Annabelle. Yeah, see. What else? Give me more ideas. Is it a nice door? Is it nice? Yeah. It's very it dangerous. Is? Okay, so it is dangerous. Lupita, can you repeat? Bill. Como mala, pues. Like evil? evil. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, so it is evil. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. So you have seen the movie. Ya vieron la película. Okay, so it is evil. All right. Like really, really bad. Mm -hmm. Guys, ¿quién más vio la película? Who has seen the movie? Nobody else? Okay, so it is dangerous. It's a nibble, doll. ¿Qué más se les ocurre? It is? Can you repeat? This one, right? We're talking about the doll. Teacher, ¿cómo decir que es una película fabulosa? A mí me gustan las oh, películas de miedo. It is a wonderful, or it is an awesome movie. So it is oh. a wonderful, or it is an awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. It is an awesome movie. Really? Do you That's like so horror? Awesome. No. Thank you, okay. Huh? I, I don't like horror. So, I don't really like horror. I like no, horror. Siento que, you know, algo llega y, ay, no, no, no. <laughs> That's not for me. Okay. Uh, okay, let's jump to the next. What about this one? Uh, if you have seen X-Men, 
um, we have storm, right? So what can you tell us about storm? What can you tell us about this one, the second? Is she beautiful? Is she powerful? Mm -hmm. uh, what can you tell us? Yes, Lupita. Beautiful. Okay, so she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. She's powerful. Okay, so she's a powerful woman. All right, what else? From X-Men. She's angry. Oh, okay. So she's angry. All right. She is strong. Yes, I agree. She is strong. Okay. She is very strong. Mm -hmm. More ideas? No more. Guys, she is uh, yes. black. Ah, okay. So she is wearing black clothes. Yeah, so her clothes is black. Very nice. Okay, sounds all right. Sounds good. And let's go, guys, with the last. So this is the snake. What can you tell us about snakes? Do you mm -hmm. like snakes? This snake, snakes yeah. is color yellow. Okay, so it is yellow. It is a poisonous animal. It is a poisonous animal, yes. It has a green eye. It has green eye. Oh, yes, it has green eyes. Okay. Is it a good or a bad animal? It's, big. it's a bad, it's a bad uh, animal. A bad animal? Is it bad? So malas las serpientes, are they bad? Yes. Okay. No todo. Ah, okay, not no. all. Uh, it is a snake, vertebrae animal. Ah, okay, so, yes. I think it's the opposite. Okay, okay, that works. That works. Give us, guys. Any other idea? It's small. It is small. Okay. They are very tiny, except anacondas, right? But this one is very small. Okay. Do you like snakes? Yes. It is a slippers. Ah, it is a slippery. Very nice. That's a good word. Guys, eh, si es nuevo para ustedes, slippery. Miss, ayúdanos con slippery. What is the meaning? ¿Qué significa slippery? Es resbalosa. That's the, the one. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. So, eh, slippery puede ser como se han tocado unas serpientes como, eh, right? Pero también el piso, no sé si se han fijado, eh, hay pisos que son resbaladizos. So, también usamos la misma palabra, slippery, right? Eh, to talk about that. So, very good. That's a really nice description. Today, de hecho, vamos a hablar de descripciones. We're going to talk a little about personality, some general characteristics. And I wanted to get started with this part because vamos a revisar something important that is, ¿qué es bueno o qué se considera okay? What is considered good? ¿Y cuál es un adjetivo probably negative? Les preguntaba a las serpientes, are they good? Are they bad? A veces es difícil decirlo, right? So um, let's take a look at some words que vamos a revisar el día de ahora. So we're going to check personality adjectives. We are going to be talking about your personality, our personality. Y en la primera clase revisamos un poquitito de adjetivos. Here we have some, but this is what we are going to do. It says put the following adjectives into the correct category. 
Ahora, guys, vamos a categorizarlos. What is positive? What is negative? What is both? ¿Qué palabras se consideran buenas o malas? O depende, o ambas. So, uh, here tenemos una lista de adjetivos. Eh, antes que comencemos a armarlas, repitamos. Let's repeat them. Revisemos vocabulary. Y luego ustedes me ayudan a ordenarlo, right? So, um, let me just go here. Okay, guys, so repeat with me, please. Algunas de que la saben, you already know them. Solamente revisamos que todos comprendamos what it is. Um, so, repeat with me. Friendly. Friendly. Loyal. 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 Greedy. 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 Mm -hmm. Untidy. Untidy. You can say untidy or untidy. So, ambas están bien. ¿Cuál es la, la hace más fácil? Untidy or untidy? Untidy. Ok, so, como les, les salga más fácil, mm -hmm, you're fine. Untidy. Um, but very honestly, in American English, muchas palabras cambian a una R. Ese es un ejemplo. So, untidy. Uh, polite. 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 Sensible. Sensible. Super important. Sensible no es sensible. Eh, sensible tiene un significado muy diferente. Please escríbanlo por ahí. Write it there. Ya lo vamos a revisar. Because sensible no es sensible. That's not that one. Yes? Es como sensato, algo así. Yes. Exactly, exactly. So sensible, if somebody asks you, are you sensible? Eh, deben de pensar, no estoy hablando de sensible, estamos hablando de sensatez. So, right. se parecen, but they are not the same. Next one, guys, rude. 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 Mm -hmm. La no se pronuncia, shy. 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 Okay, this one lo vamos a dividir en partes. Im, pe, shent. Son tres sílabas. Im, guys, repita conmigo despacio. Im, im, e, im, e, 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 shent, shent, impatient, impatient. Very good. Exactly, that is the one. So impatient. Next one, moody, 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 moody. moody. Mm -hmm. Clever, clever. 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 ¿Qué decíamos que es clever? What's the meaning of clever? ¿Alguien recuerda? Do you remember? Intelligent. Smart, intelligent, or clever. So clever es como listo, right? Astuto. So that's clever. Mm -hmm. Next one. Easy going. Easy going. Alguien fácil de llevar. Alguien fácil de llevar. In Spanish, usamos la expresión buena onda, right? Um, or like, yeah, I can super llevadero. Are you an easygoing person? Are you easygoing? Uh, next one, tidy. Tidy or tidy? Tidy. 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 Next one, helpful. 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 Very good. Helpful. Yes. Next one, dishonest. 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 Okay, very nice. Dishonest, Be honest, exactly. Be Next honest. one, patient. 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 Very good. Next one, funny. 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 Exactly, kind of far, right? Funny. Next one. Uh, well, dishonest está dos veces. Sorry about that. No es para que sean dos veces de deshonestos or anything. <laughs> Next one, modest. 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 Next one, annoying. 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 Okay. But tempered. But tempered. Mean. 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 Okay. Generous. Generous. Okay, guys. So, from this vocabulary, ¿hay alguna palabra que sea nueva? Is there any new word? Yes. Can you say that again? Can you repeat? Greedy. Loyal. 
Ah, ok, ok. So, guys, vamos una por una. Let's go one by one. Y, you know, y los que ya la conocen, me ayudan. Loyal. ¿Alguna idea que es loyal? What is this? Eh, leal. Leal. Very nice. También, guys, pueden buscarle en su diccionario. You can open your dictionary and check it out without a problem. So, that's leal, right? Greedy. What is greedy? Pueden buscarle a su traductor, guys. Avaro. Avaro, ok. Or ambitious, pero más que ambitious, right? Ambitious is, oh, I want a house. Pero avaro is like, I have a house, I have, I want two. I need three, I need four, I need five. So that's greedy, right? Um, so es un, un paso más arriba de ambitious. Um, otra palabra, any other word? Untidy. Ok, so we have tidy y tenemos lo opuesto. Desordenado. Untidy, desordenado. Exactly. So untidy is messy. Teacher, mean, yes. please. Uh, mean. ¿Alguna vez vio la película Mean Girls? No. Ok, mean, como what is the meaning, puede significar significado, right? Pero mean también es para una persona que es, tiene muy malas intenciones. Um, mm. No en el sentido que sea mala, sino que los comentarios son muy uh, dolorosos o, lo di o sin tacto, you know? so, solo lo dice and that's it. Como malvado, pero para expresarse nada más. Yeah, exactly. Kind of malvado, pero no es que haga algo malo. Exactly. Solo no, no mide las palabras. So that's a mean person. Alguien que no tiene tacto, no, ¿verdad? No, por ahí. No necesita. Es que sí, pero depende mucho del... Ok, por ejemplo. Malintencionado. Imagine... Tampoco. Mm. Es que no lo logro comprender. What happens is that no lo, dice, no lo dice por mala intención, sino porque es así. Imagine, um, for example, con girls, um, a mis mejores amigas, no le voy a decir, ay, qué gorda te ves. <ríe> Eso sería un mean comment. Es Como también alguien con intención. Ya, yeah, pero sin malas palabras. That, that's the point. Mm -hmm. Solo es como malo, like bad, pero no que Tiene quiera como ser como mal. imprudente, más o menos. Sí, yeah, kind of, kind of. Más que todo se refiere a la forma de expresarse, right? So, sin filtro. You just say the words. Uh, pero sometimes sí se refiere a personas malas. So, it really depends. Um, but that's mean. Any other word, guys? Algo más que you don't get? ¿Comprenden el resto de las expresiones? Do you understand the rest? Ok, si no, you know, no se preocupen. Eh, mantengan eh, siempre su diccionario abierto o translated porque es mucho más fácil as well. So now let's do the following. Uh, here we have positive, negative, and both. What I want you to do is from these adjectives, select the ones that are positive. Uh, for example, friendly. Ah, friendly is a positive word. So I'm going to write it here. Negative. ¿Cuál de eso sería un adjetivo malo? What's a negative word? Acabamos de ver mean, right? Okay, so alguien que tiene, no, tiene filtro, dice las palabras y son hirientes. So negative, that would be mean. Both. ¿Qué palabra puedo utilizar que puede ser buena y mala? What do you think? Untidy. Untidy. Mm. Aunque untidy sí sería malo, porque si sí hay una palabra positiva y negativa for that. Pero algo que puede significar ambos. Funny. Honest. Puede ser malo ser honesto. Can it be bad? Deshonesto y honesto. No. Uh, no, but both es como una palabra que puede ser buena y mala. So friendly es como, siempre es una palabra positiva, right? Es un adjetivo bueno. Pero, for example, in Spanish, tenemos adjetivos yeah. que pueden ser malos. Y otros que depende. 
Shy. Ajá, exactly. Shy es both. Porque para unos pueden decir, ah, ser tímido es bueno. But for some people can say, ah, no, ser tímido es malo porque no hay inteligencia emocional, right? No va a convivir. So that is the idea cuando dice both. Son adjetivos que pueden ser buenos y malos at the same time. Um, now, positive, for example, puedo tener tidy. Negative, puedo tener, ¿cuál es lo negativo de tidy? Untidy. Ajá, uh, uh, so that is the idea, right? So, adjetivos que se consideran aceptables and adjectives that are considered not eh, acceptable here. So, creo que la está muy pequeñita. Ustedes hagan las más grandes, ese cuadrito para que les quepan, right? So, no es como lo opuesto, solamente es de irlas uniendo here porque ya no me cabe, guys. Um, I'll give you some minutes para que ustedes puedan organizar las cuales son adjetivos positivos and which are negative adjectives. So I'll give you five minutes. Miss, what is a bad temper? Bad temper. Como mal well, temperamento. Yes, exactly. So a bad temper person. O que se enoja rápido, o sí. simplemente, simplemente, malhumorado, malhumorado, ya, yeah, mala leche, so yeah, that's a bad tempered person. Are you bad temper guys? ¿Tienen un mal temperamento? Y solo los veo mover la cabeza, you know, pero en sus adentros, you're remembering. <laughs> okay, so that's bad tempered. Okay, one second. Okay, let me just take a look. Hi, Eduardo. Good evening. Jorge, good evening. Great to have you. Uh, Javier, no, Javier, ya lo había escuchado. I heard you before. Hi, David, teacher. good evening. Hello, how you doing? Wendy, good evening. Hi, Suleyma.
Okay, guys, uh, give me confirmation, please, when you finish, or if you need more time, no problem. Okay, guys, so let's go with positive words. Can you tell me some positive words from here? ¿Qué palabras se encontraron? What words did you see? Positive? ¿Qué palabras consideran positivas? Uh, we only have friendly and tidy. Mm -hmm. Clever. Polite. Ah, polite. Yes. So clever, polite. Very good. Patient. Patient. Yes. Patient, patient. Funny. 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 Loyal. I agree. Loyal. Generous. Gen. Well, <laughs> is More? generous good or bad? Es bueno ser generoso? Is it honest. good to be generous? Yeah. Okay, so generous and honest. Okay. What about negative? What words do you consider negative? Moody. Ready? Yes. Moody person. Untidy. Untidy. Rude. Rude, yes. Yeah. Moody. Moody. Moody, I agree. Yep. Greedy. Dishonest. Greedy. Okay. Dishonest. Dishonest. Dishonest, yes. Bad tempered. Annoying. That's right. So annoying. Too. What is the meaning mm -hmm. of annoying, guys? What's that? What is anno annoying? Annoying. Mm -hmm. no, annoying. Not. Uh, this one, molesto, exactly, an annoying person. So, puede ser porque, I don't know, porque repite mucho. Uh, ¿qué, ¿A quién consideran una persona annoying, guys? ¿Qué características debe tener para que ustedes digan, ay, he is so annoying, or she is so annoying? ¿Hay algún tipo de persona que le moleste? Como arrogante, no. que sea arrogante. Ah, ok. An arrogant person. Ok. Quizás alguien que no quiera compartir. Like um, a selfish person, right? Alguien que sea muy selfish. So selfish. Like todo para mí and I don't want to share. A selfish yeah. person. Ok. Teacher. Yeah. I'm sorry. Teacher. Uh, yes. Someone who is. I'm, I'm sorry, Miss. You're breaking. Can you say that again? Can you repeat it? Maybe someone who, who speak aloud. Ah, really? It's annoying for you? For me, yes. Yeah. But like me? <laughs> or someone know. who speaks too loud? I, I Saying English, but I think it's muy aguda la voz para mí es annoying. Muy aguda. Habla muy fuerte y muy gritona. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Ah, okay, okay. Interesting, but that's a, a really good point. So everybody has a different idea here about like. Annoying things. Interesting. Okay, guys. So here we have positive, negative. Y tenemos algunos que pueden ser both, right? Like you have shy. Tienen otro que puedas tener ambos? Lazy. Lazy. Oh. Lazy. Wow. Porque, para, okay. porque para algunas personas es malo que sea que anden solo en la calle, pero para otros no. Es genial. Wait, 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 wait. Pero es que lazy es holgazán. 
Pero, oh, no es como, como vago. No, 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 no. Eso sería Entonces, más como... Entonces no es negativo. <ríe> ok, ya. Yeah. Lazy literal es Olga, o sea, alguien que no hace nada. Ah, okay. eso. Es diferente que... Y perezoso. Ya, yeah, perezoso, exactly. Es diferente alguien que ande you know, en las calles o jugando. Ajá, ah, it's different. So lazy is, ah, no quiero hacer nada. <ríe> uh -huh. So negative, right? Ok, ok. So, ¿Tienen algunos para both aparte de shy? Base, base. Impatient. Impatient. Why? ¿Por qué puede ser uh, malo? Why is it bad and good? Me se, se cerró el micrófono. You, you, you got mute. Oh, perdón. Como hay algunas personas que no les gustan las personas impacientes. Porque desesperan a otros, no sé. Ok, so, impatient. Pero la palabra impaciente, the, like the word impatient, es bueno y malo. Is it good and bad? So, for, ok, la idea acá para, de... algunas, ajá, para algunas personas uh -huh. puede ser bueno y para otras es malo. Porque okay. alguien impaciente puede hacer cosas, por ejemplo, en un trabajo las puede hacer mal. Okay. Y en otro. Dependiendo del trabajo, del contexto. Ok, interesting. Very interesting. Para mí era malo, y ahora I'm like, ah, ok, makes sense. Ok, ok. You're right. Depende del trabajo, too. Y depende del contexto. Ok. Tenemos más, guys. Do you have more? Can be good or bad? Modest. Which one? Honest. Modest. 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 Oh, okay. Modest. ¿Por qué es malo? Why can it be bad? I guess that some people can, can be modest. Uh, maybe some people like, like this. Uh, And, uh, and other people uh, not like the people models. I guess mm. it's, it's both. Like, okay. like passions and passions. Oh, I, okay. I look like this. So for some people it's okay, but sometimes it is not a good idea. Okay, okay, makes a lot of sense. Okay, guys, now let's take a look at the following. Talking about the same kind of ideas, I have some questions for you. So let's take a look at this. Um, so ya vimos un par de estos. Now I need your help completing the opposite. What is the opposite? For example, if I tell you white, the opposite is black. If I tell you day, the opposite is night. What about the opposite of friendly? Amargado. Uh, and how do you say that in English? Acabamos de verlo. <laughs> moody. Moody. Ah, moody. Hay otra palabra. There is another word too. Moody. That can work. Annoying. Hay otra más. Annoying. Yes, that can be annoying, pero hay otra que se parece más todavía. So friendly and it starts with bad. Bad temper. Bad Enemy. temper. There you go. So bad tempered. Exactly. So friendly, bad temper, right? So someone you cannot talk to. Generous. Oh, guys, what is the opposite of generous? Greedy. Greedy. Ah, okay. Greedy. That can be. Uh, but generous is someone who gives. Si hablamos de dinero, if we talk about money, how do you say this? <laughs> what is the opposite? Yeah? Stingy. Stingy, very nice. Uh -huh. Are you generous or are you uh, a stingy person? So stingy, okay, good. Uh, open-minded, are you an open-minded person? Son de criterio abierto? 
eh, or like, se puede hablar de cualquier tema con ustedes? Are you an open-minded person? ¿Qué creen que es lo opuesto? What do you think is the opposite? Está bien fácil, guys. ¿Qué es lo opuesto de open? What's the opposite? Close-minded, close close open-minded, close-minded. Guys, are you an open-minded person? Son de criterio abierto. Or are you a close-minded person? Or casi no son de, you know, no hay temas que se puedan hablar with you. Are you open or close-minded? O en punto medio. <laughs> Or that you're not sure. So that is the idea, right? Open-minded, close-minded person. Next one, talkative. So what is the opposite of talkative? Reserved. Okay, Talk. reserved. Uh, can you say that again? Reserved. Escucha alguien más a lo lejos. Creo que Dev, I think it was you. Pero lo escucho lejos, Debo. Ok, so we have talkative, talk we have reserved. Pero también tenemos otra palabra que acabamos de ver, guys. Sensible. That was with letter S. Sensible. Mm, but sensible es más como con los pies en la tierra, you know, más sensato. Mm -hmm. And talkative es alguien que habla. You talk and talk and talk and talk. What is Nine. the opposite? Shy, very good. So shy, talkative. That's the one. Kind. Oh, thank you. Dev, por alguna razón, le escucho lejos. Far, far away. Pero no sé si es, si lo tiene con Bluetooth eh, el audio. That can be. Uh, okay. Guys, kind. What's a kind person? Like a cool person. What is the opposite? Rude. rude. Okay, rude. Yes, that's a good word for that. Kind and rude. Funny. What is the opposite of funny? Grumpy. <laughs> Grumpy, moody, hot-headed, angry. <laughs> we have a lot of words there. Uh -huh. So, uh, clever. Uh, vamos a dejar clever a un ladito because clever is like in intelligent, smart. Pues no vamos a buscar negative words for this. Uh, lazy. What is the opposite of lazy? How do you say trabajador, guys? Clear. Mm, yeah, but like the opposite. Of, lazy is alguien que no hace nada. How do you say the opposite? Like, yo soy muy trabajador, muy trabajadora. I work a lot. What is the word? Active. Active, okay. Okay, hard working. Vamos a usar la palabra. Hard working. So, yes, exactly. One of the characteristics of Salvadorian is that we are hard working people. So that's the word, hard working. If you want to say, soy muy trabajador, o soy muy trabajadora, I am a hard working woman. I am a hard working person. So es trabajador, right? Lazy, hard working. Shy, ya me lo acaban de decir there. That was talkative. <coughs> self confident. Um, so self confident is a very nice word. And it's like que ustedes confían en ustedes, right? That you trust your abilities. Vamos a dejar esto de lado because that's a really, really nice word. We have ambitious. Generous. General. Mm, okay, okay. Ambitious, generous. But ¿qué sería lo opuesto de ambitious? Alguien sin ambición? How do you call that? Eh, cuando se, ¿cómo se dice? Mm, como que se acomoda a lo que... Mm -hmm. Ahí podemos usar este, la sensible. Sensible. Mm, what is it? Mediocre. We can use mediocre. Yeah, 
Angel. Hay otra palabra. There is another word. Se los escribo acá. Because mediocre is demasiado fuerte, you know, es bien pesada. So we can use the word laid back, que es como demasiado relajado. Like if I tell you, hey, Javier, we have work for tomorrow. Yes, relax. <laughs> Take it easy. So that's a laid back person. Alguien que no se angustia, no se preocupa. Everything is cool. So are you laid back? Son así relajados. Can you be that calm? Mm. So I can't, but that's a labeled person. And come, que sería lo opuesto de come? Cualquier idea is good. What do you think is the opposite for come? Alguien dijo por ahí active, which is okay. Funny. Funny. Mm. Aunque, aunque uh, come se refiere más a como en estado de reposo, you know, la like más relajado. And funny es más para sentido del humor, so they are kind of different, pero podría funcionar. It depends on the context. ¿Qué más se les ocurre for come? No more ideas. Ah, uh, como. Um, okay, but active sounds good. We can use the word lively también. Lively es alguien que toda la vida anda como super hyperactive. So we can use lively, mm -hmm. hyperactive. Hyperactivo. Mm -hmm. Hiperactivo, right? Or Eso, like, hiperactivo. Hello, hello. So lively or hyperactive, those are the ones. Okay, guys, so why is this important? Because in a company, todos tenemos good things, bad things, y unas cosas que las queremos mejorar because for us, they are not good. Today, we are going to talk about that. We're going to talk about values and the importance of our personality. So I have some words that I want to check with you and it refers to our personality for example here we have um take a look here it says what values are the most important for you and why so todos depende de nuestra personalidad valoramos algunas cosas for example here we have efficiency integrity innovation para las personas super creativas like innovation Loyalty, porque nosotros somos bien loyal. Respect, because we are respectful. Personality or responsibility, uh, because we are responsible. Punctuality and service to others. Now, here we have two, four, six, eight. We have eight um, words or values that are very important, like for almost everybody. The question is, what is your top number three? Vamos a seleccionar tres, like top one, top two, top three, los más importantes para ustedes. Um, si hay otros, you know, que no estén acá, you can include them. For example, here we have core values and we have safety, passion, community, para aquellas personas que so muy de la iglesia, de su familia, like your neighbors are important. Teamwork, a quienes le gusta mucho trabajar con otras personas, or you are super sociable. Uh, responsibility and reliability. People development, customer service, focus, etc. So, uh, guys, vamos a hacer esto juntos. We're going to do this together, but vamos a intentar ponernos de acuerdo. What I want you to do is... Uh, vamos a crear dos grupos. We're going to make two groups. And guys, pónganse de acuerdo cuál es el top three para todos ustedes. What is number one, what is number two, and what is number three. So, negocienlo, dialoguenlo, right? And why. The most important thing is why. Uh, primero vamos a pronunciar uh, los valores. La pronunciación cambió un poquito. Um, so, let's take a look here. Repeat and conmigo, please. Efficiency. 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 
Ok, efficiency lo usamos para eficiencia, right? Pero no para una persona. Una persona no decimos I am efficiency. Eh, vamos a revisarlo cuando regresemos. But efficiency es solamente el valor. Uh, integrity. 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 Innovation. 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 Loyalty. 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 Respect. Respect. Responsibility. Responsibility. Punctuality. Service to others. Service to others. Ok. Pero si encuentran más, please, agréguenlos, no hay problema. Lo que vamos a hacer es solo seleccionar tres. We're going to select only three. ¿Cuáles son los más importantes para todo el grupo? For the whole group. Guys, tenemos uh, cinco minutos. Negócenlo, pónganse de acuerdo. And when you come back, nos explican cuál es número uno y por qué. What is number two and why? What is number three and why? So, le pueden tomar captura. Si no, esto está en su material. This is in, oh, uh, no, hagamos lo siguiente. Le voy a compartir la pantalla para que no tomen captura. I'm going to share my screen. Solo eh, asegúrense si lo van a escribir en el grupo o en algún lugar. Eh, anótenlo en otro lado porque a veces al regresar se pierde el chat. You know, so just in case. Guys, tenemos siete minutos para negociarlo. Go. Talk about it. Si se puede en inglés, mucho mejor. Talk about it. Discuss it in English. And then we come back. Let's go. Vámonos, guys. Let's go, please.
Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Hi, Miss. Let me see. Okay, everybody is back. Okay, guys. So, how did it go? Pudieron armarlo? Were you able to um, negotiate a little bit? Pudieron negotiate Were you yes. able to make top three? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very nice. So, guys, um, tell us what is number number three. So, value number three that is the most important. <coughs> Why? Uh, we think the number three is responsibility. Uh, no, okay. sorry, efficiency. Efficiency. Why? Uh, uh, because. Uh, bueno, we think the, mm -hmm. the, the first is integrity. Because uh, oh. into integrity is loyalty. Okay. Uh, Responsibility is is punctuality. Porque si uno digamos es puntual ya está es responsable. Cumpliendo con todos. Ajá, junto con todos. Okay. Entonces, and efficiency because the company is eh, valued valued more by another people. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so number one for you is integrity, you said. Yes. Okay, number one is integrity. Number two was responsibility. Respons responsibility. And number three is efficiency. Efficiency. Okay, okay, sounds all right. Interesting. Guys, what about the other group? What do you think about it? What are the... the Top three values. So Hello. in the other group, yes. Hello, my name is David. My Hi, David. Was... Yes, I heard. I heard, I heard you some minutes ago. I was like, ah, David. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay, but I am sick right now. <laughs> oh, okay. But 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 thank you then. Thank you for joining and participating. Right. So what okay. did your group decide? Okay, my group decided. The first one, integrity, because mm -hmm. in, in this time, it's the most important valor in a lot of companies to mm -hmm. do integrity. Okay. And the second one is responsibility, because okay. if you are responsible in the company, <clears throat> you you are you have you have. Sorry, you have uh, integrity too. And um, the three is respect mm -hmm. because it's it's, a, it's important to respect the, the people, the company, uh, and do uh, this. This one are the three more important. Your top three. Uh huh. Yeah. Very interesting because you two have different um, values. Okay, that's really good. Okay, thank you. But something interesting is that um, both groups said that integrity is number one and you have responsibility uh, like within that. Okay, okay, sounds really good. So Taking this into account, guys, let's take a look at the following. We are going to work in your material. So this is in your book. This is page number 12. And actually, yeah, Luis Simons, we kind of did it already. We ranked the values here. Sorry, okay. So page number 12, we have these words, efficiency, Innovation, respect, punctuality, service to others, responsibility, loyalty, and integrity. Again, estos son los valores, pero no los usamos para describirnos. Solamente eh, we describe other things. So take a look at the following. And we have exercise number five. Complete the sentences below with one of the values from the box. Compare your answers with a partner. Number one, for example, says, for example, I apply punctuality, 
when I get to my job on time. What about the rest of this exercise, guys? We have the words on top. So let's complete this part in red, please. Eh, si tienen el material, you can do it in your material. Si van a tomar nota, you can write number one y solamente la respuesta para que no escriban todo, right? We have three, four minutes. Let me know, guys, when you finish, please. Yes, miss. Oh, you finished? Yeah. I finished. Sorry, that was fast. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> that was really fast. Guys? Uh, guys, what about the rest of you? Terminaron también? Did you finish? Okay, so vamos a esperar, guys, um, until most of you are done. Let me know, please. Me avisan cuando terminen. Let me know when you finish. Okay, guys, so let's uh, check together. Let's check what you have. Um, and if you have a different answer, tell us, please. So number one, uh, number one is punctuality, as we see in the example. Number two, when I welcome customers to the store, 
I show. What do you show, guys? Service to others. Very good. Service to others. Okay. Uh, Podemos usar respect? Yes, I show respect. I show efficiency también, right? Or service to others. Number three is to accept your mistakes and their consequences. Responsible. Okay, so responsibility. Guys, tiene lo mismo? Do you have the same? Responsibility. Responsibility, tiene algo diferente o tiene lo mismo? No. Integrity. Integrity, integrity. okay. Responsibility, integrity, okay. Sounds all right. Let's go with the next one. So the next one we have right here says, number four, I show when I finish my duties on time. Punctuality. Okay, punctuality. Okay. Number four, guys, in the lo mismo? Efficient. Efficient. Uh -huh, lo mismo tengo. Efficient. Okay, so efficiency, efficient. Um, efficient. punctuality. Alguien mencionó antes, pero el responsibility is a punctuality. So, alguien puede decir responsibility. And it's okay, right? Más de una respuesta, it's fine here. Okay, number five. I, if I suggest a creative solution to my team, I apply... Innovation. Innovation. Innovation, Innovation. exactly. But someone can say, no, eso es creativity. También podemos agregar creativity. Without a problem, también es un value, right? Number six, when I offer help to a customer, I demonstrate. A service to others. Service to others. Service to others. Okay, as we see, más de una respuesta puede encajar because no van solitos, right? All the values come together. Now, ahora el punto es, si esto es el valor, ¿cómo hablo de mí? How can I talk about my personality? For example, efficiency. Pero yo no digo I am efficiency. Guys, ¿qué palabra puedo utilizar? What word can I use? Efficiency is like eficiencia, right? But if I want to talk about me, como digo, uh, I am, um, ¿qué palabra uso? Any idea? Solo voy a cambiarlo un poquito, yes. Eficiently. Ok. No. Yes, solo le quitamos el, el, el Y. I am efficient. Exactly. Efficient. I am efficient. If I want to use a, like innovation, and I want to say, yo soy innovador, no puedo decir I am innovation, right? Because innovation es el valor. So I'm going to use I am Inno innovative. Yes, innovative. exactly. I am innovative. Mm -hmm. innovative. Are you an innovative person? If you want to say respect, you don't say I am respect because no es que soy la señora. Uh, I am respectful. <laughs> yes, very good. I am respectful. Or le podemos agregar I am a respectful person, but the word is respectful con una L. Uh, punctuality. I am How do you say? I am uh -huh. punctual. Punct exactly. Punctual. So I am punctual. punctual. So I am efficient. I am innovative. I am respectful. I am punctual. Integrity. How do you, how, what word can we use? I am. Se parece mucho al español, guys. Integral. Integral. Mm -hmm. I am integral. That's the one. Loyalty. So what word can we use? I am. La acabamos de revisar hace unos segunditos. I am. Loyal. Loyal. Very good. Oh, not that way. <laughs> okay. So I am loyal. Yes. Responsibility. How do you say soy responsable? I am. I am responsable. responsible. 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 Okay, so I am responsible. So take a look at this one. Responsibility, I am responsible. Loyalty, I am loyal. 
Integrity, I am integral. Efficiency, I am efficient. So, when we are talking about us, se parece mucho, pero se cambia un poquito de word, right? This is to talk about our personality. Um, so, preguntas, guys, dudas, do you have any question? Questions, doubts? Dice que sí tiene preguntas. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay, no worries. Uh, so, if you get more questions, las revisamos. We can check them later. So, vamos a practicar, guys. It's time for us to practice. Uh, we are going to go over the following questions. Les tengo un par de preguntas. So we can practice this. And of course, podemos revisar parte de los temas from eh, módulo 1 y módulo 2 as well. So what are these questions? Um, so here I have like some, like only four questions. Vamos a revisar un poquito a simple present tense. Question one says, what are some activities uh, you like to do? What I want you to do, guys, is try to interview your classmate. Intenten entrevistarlo, intenten hacerle preguntas en inglés, right? And of course, guys, intenten responder en inglés también, recordando lo que ya vieron, módulo one, módulo two. Vamos a intentar hacer un refresher ahorita. Number two, what are some good habits um, that you have? Guys, what are some good habits? Do you do exercise in the morning? Do you eat healthy? Do you drink a lot of water? Do you go running? So, yes, and what do you normally do? What are some things you do every day? What's your daily routine? Um, no agreguemos solo, I take a shower, I eat breakfast, <laughs> I eat lunch. Agreguemos también, like, some different activities you do. And the last one is, tell us about your personality. So, acabamos de ver un par de palabras de que nos pueden ayudar para, para hablar de nosotros. Like, loyal, um, eh, open-minded, close-minded, shy, greedy. Usamos el vocabulario nuevo. No nos quedamos solo con happy, angry. <laughs> Intentemos agregar este vocabulario, right? To talk about personality. Uh, también podemos agregarlo en not. I am not greedy. I am not a shy person. I am not a calm person. So you can include as many words as you want because la idea es practicar vocabulario, right? Um, guys, I'm going to send you, los voy a enviar una vez más a los grupos, super small groups. Entrevisten a los compañeros, take notes. Yes, miss? Teacher, I had a problem when, when I go to the, the, the rooms. Our uh, internet kicks you out. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. So, vamos a hacer lo siguiente, guys. Let's do the following. Give me one moment. And uh, let me see. Okay. Okay, guys, let's do the following. Um, ¿Alguien más le está teniendo problemas con internet? Eric? ¿Estamos bien? Are we good? Okay. Creo que sí. Okay, guys, so let's do the following. So Deborah, eh, Griselda, Luis Enrique, Manuel, Vanessa, and Suleima. Quédense acá, please. Nos va, les va a aparecer la invitación. No se unen, quédense acá. Y vamos a discutir las preguntas acá. Guys, los demás, vámonos al grupo. Let's go to the group, please. Tenemos eh, 10 minutes. Intenten agregar todo el vocabulario que puedan. Try to add all, all the vocabulary. Because later, vamos a entrevistarlos. We are going to interview you. So, practíquenlo todo lo que puedan. As much as you can, please. 10 minutes, guys. Um, so, Mr. Casanaga, que es acá. Manuel, stay here. Vanessa, stay here. Suleyma, too. And Griselda, too. And Deborah, stay here, please. That normally happens. Guys, los demás, let's go. Vámonos. Si alguien más tiene problemas con el Inter, avísenos, please. Y para que se quede acá, right? So you can stay here.
um, Dr. Eric, Wendy. Okay. Okay, guys. So, voy a cerrar mi micrófono un momento. I'm going to close my mic. Um, I'm going to turn it off so you can have a chance to interview each other and practice. Um, if there is like a big, super, super big correction, uh, voy a intervenir de lo contrario, guys. This is just for you to practice. So take this as your room. Whenever you are ready, guys, you can start interviewing each other. Okay. Hello, everyone. Okay. Hi, guys. Hi. And um, what about you? What are what are some activities you like to do? I like uh, in my free time, uh, past time with my family. Uh, I like uh, sleep. How uh, do you say ¿Cómo se dice qué? Hasta tarde. Go oh, out once. late. I like to sleep. Uh, on Sunday, ah, late. And uh, my uh, hobby, my favorite hobby is uh, uh, watch watch uh, watch TV. Um, I like the new series. Uh, for example, uh, the series uh, "The Last of Us" is is very nice. Okay, yeah. and what are some good habits that you have? Excuse me. Uh, Is it me, guys, or I lost you? A mí me mandó a una sala sin aceptar. Mm, okay, no. I mean, sí les va a aparecer la invitación, but uh, ignore it. Like, just ignore it, and that's fine. But es que de repente se quedó en silencio todo, and I was like, wait, what, what happened? <laughs> okay. Um, so Manuel, are you here? Vane, yes, por aquí, guys. Okay, okay, very nice. Suleima, are you here as well? Probably she's not here. Okay, well, um, so guys, you can ask Manuel some questions too. So, entrevistense, guys. I'm gonna monitor Ari. Hi, Eric. Me alegra verlo por acá. I'm glad you're here. 
¿Quién estuvo ah, interactuando con, con Luis Enrique? Sí. Yo acabo de hacer mi, gran, mi, mi, un, mi monólogo y, y, y mencioné todo y, y el micrófono lo tenía apagado. ¿No tenías el micrófono encendido? No, exactly. De repente vos le... Güey. No lo que me voy a los labios. Se yo, o sea, o sea, se, se queda hasta mis palabras, mis mi frases. Bueno, así, como, obvio, los labios así, arco. pero como no tenía encendido el micrófono, sí escuchaba. Neta. Ah, no, pero no te preocupes. Yo, so we, we'll yo te corregía. Yo te corregía eso, pero tampoco tenía encendido mi micrófono. <risa> You're terrible, guys. Okay, but but now your 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 mic is ready, so you can go ahead. Um, I'll monitor the other groups, guys. Go ahead, please. Continue. Okay. Oh, a question, uh, Vanessa. Uh, see. Uh, what are some activities you like to do? Uh, watch movies with my family y exercise with weights creo que es con pesas ejercicio con pesas o sea levantar una persona pan comido ok what are some good habits that you have uh, I am punctual I am responsible. Okay. What are some things do you every day? Um, uh, I go to work, uh, English class. I brush my teeth. Tell us about your personality. Ay, esa todavía no le he hecho. No importa, dígale qué se le ocurre ahorita en la mente. ¿Cómo es su personalidad? Um, um, Según su voz, la escucho que no es muy enojada. No, no soy enojada. Eh, friendly. Eh, I am friendly. I am loyal y I am um, tidy, tidy. Tidy. Right. Uh, next, Abigail. Wendy or Abigail? Estás ahí, Wendy? No. Next sería Suleima. Oyente. Eric Gerardo. ¿Estás ahí, Eric Gerardo? Tampoco. Si no le pregunto yo, compañero. Okay. <risa> eh... What are some activities you like to do? Uh, I like me uh, soccer um, on Sunday. Uh, Compañero, um, sería I like to play soccer. I like to play. Porque es una actividad. Okay. Yeah, but I, am a... I like to play yeah. soccer. Dame un momento, te regreso. Te regreso. Si me gustan, sigan con otro interactuando. Ya regreso. Ok. Uh, I like uh, to drive uh, a car and motorcycle. Um, uh, I usually uh, uh, cook uh, at weekend by my family. 
uh, only meat or uh, chicken, but I enjoy this uh, activity. Uh, in my uh, free time, I practice uh, walk, walking, no, walk, sorry, to walk. Hiking. Hiking. Okay. Hiking. Mm -hmm. Because I don't have uh, 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 the energy uh, to run. For run. For run. Uh -huh. I am uh, a little old, but my um, uh... spirit is very young. Um, uh, my uh, uh, my things. Uh, I work uh, in uh, a small company. Uh, a little bank, and uh, I enjoy uh, uh, no. Uh, I enjoy meet with uh, little. How uh, say empresarios? Business people, no, verdad. Okay. Yes, that is right. You can say business people or businessmen. Businessmen. Um, and I am um, a efficient person and uh, I am respect, respectful and I am uh, responsible. Only that. Okay. Sounds good. That is actually a very nice description. You gave a lot of details and the information was very clear. Nice. Really nice. Okay. Guys, what about the rest of you? I think I kind of heard um, I think it was Vicky, so I believe it was her, um, and so Deborah, what about you, what can you tell us, um, what can you tell us about, like, the good habits you have? Uh, well, um, one month ago, mm -hmm. I started to go to the gym, maybe it's a good ah, habit, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, and the other one, I usually go out with my pets and uh, go with my friends to, I don't know, how do you say, uh, a rodar teacher with the bike? Ah, to cycle. <laughs> I heard you said a rodar. I was like, ah. <laughs> no, no, no. Rodar. Yeah, it's cycle. <laughs> cycle. Yes, I know it. It's um, like cycling. Okay, you can say um, I go cycling. How do you spell it? Oh, I read it in the chat. Oh, so C Y C L I N G. Mm -hmm. Cycling. I go up to cycling or or, or I go on? out cycling. I go I go cycling. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um. Um, something that I do every day is to wake up early, take a shower and go to the work and uh, maybe, let me see, help my, my co-worker okay. and my boss too, to, to make reports. Oh. And the other thing that I do is to feed my, my pet. Okay. What do you have? What kind of pet do you have? I have two. 
I had a French and I had a Trivarian um, Hushki. Oh, they are so cute. Yeah, he has a blue eyes. Oh, yes, yeah, so the, the breed is really cute. Guys, do you have pets too? Louis um, and Vicky or Victoria, do you have pets? No. Excuse me? Do you have like dogs, cats? Do you yeah, have any yeah. pets? Yes, mister. I have uh, five pets, uh, oh three, do three dogs. Uh, her names are uh, Chloe, Bambi, okay. and Meow. Okay. I have a, a Chihuahua dog. Her okay. name is Meow. Your Chihuahua dog's name is Meow? <laughs> That's yeah. a weird name. Sounds like a cat. And I have two two cats. Okay. Uh, Canelo and Raulito. Okay. Okay. Uh, That's nice. Yeah. Hey, my, my dog name is Canelo. Uh, <laughs> okay. Are they common names? Uh, I, I I don't have any pet, you know, so. Um, I don't know why it is considered like a common name, but it uh, looks like Canelo, it's like- Like a Kaiser, teacher, it's just common. Kaiser. <laughs> oh yeah, Firulais, uh hi. -huh. Those are, are, are common, uh-huh. Are super common, uh-huh. Canelo. Uh, uh, yeah. my, my daughter, she, she won uh, a cat. Okay. But, uh, I uh, bring no. I brought brought a uh, two house at uh, this dog at that dog. Se lo voy a decir so, en español. No 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 wait wait you are trying uh, you're doing a nice job. Your okay. daughter wanted a cat. Uh -huh. but but I you don't. brought or you uh -huh. took to your house a dog. Uh huh. Okay. This doll, uh, uh, her name uh, was. How do you say it? Was. Was Mia. Mia. No, Mia. Mia. Okay. Uh, the first name, the the first name that doll uh, was Mia. Okay. But, but uh, when I uh, bring wrong uh, to my house, uh, mm -hmm. we change the the name. Uh, no, we change changing. No, we change the okay. mm -hmm. change uh, uh, her name and uh, al uh, ad, agregar es ad o sumar, ¿cómo se diría ahí? You can say ad or we name her, como le pusimos, uh, we name no, her. We name her uh, meow. Only, ah, only okay. ad the letter U. Okay, uh, so Mia became meow. Uh -huh. It is okay. the, the <laughs> That sounds like name. a very interesting story. Okay. Thank you, guys. So thank you for sharing that. Okay, guys, I have, I would like to listen to some people because um, I am still trying to identify some voices, but I can't. So let me select some people here. Um, okay, let me check. Let me check. Do I have any volunteer first? Hey, no. teacher. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay, so Javier, tell us about what are some of the things you do every day? What are some things you do every day? Um, every day I do, at the six o'clock I do exercise. When wow. the first I, I wake up okay. and later do the exercise and after take a shower, because okay. I I going to my job. Okay, what time? Uh, uh, 
I, I go to the cemetery because okay. I drive motorcycle. Okay. And I arrive in my, in my job at 8 o'clock. Oh, 8 o'clock? Yes, only 30 minutes because the, my motorcycle is very fast. Well, not a motorcycle, <laughs> but you. <laughs> but be careful. <laughs> okay, okay. And, and and what do you do in your job? What is your job, day, uh, Javier? What do you do? Uh, my job is I am accounting and oh, okay. I, I do financial statement and today we are we are doing uh, taxes taxes uh, every yeah. taxes of in, and uh, because in the in January is about every how do you say informants reports report uh, for the Ministry of Hacienda. Yes, uh, and tomorrow is the is is it the last day tomorrow? Uh, or today? Uh, tomorrow no, is the last yeah. day, but tomorrow is the but, last day. But the the next month and other obligations. Oh, do you like your job? Do you like to be an accountant? Yes, I like so much. Oh. Wow. Okay. Okay. That sounds Peter, very interesting. How, yes. How do you say los primeros 10 días del mes? The first 10 days of the month. Yeah, that's a, a way to say it. Okay. Or in the first 10 days. In the first 10 days. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know that, you know, everybody's working with taxes these days. Okay, thank you so much, Javier. That's very nice, very nice description. I really like that Javier incluyó muchos elementos, mucha información extra. Super, I would super ask, good. I yes, would like Barbara? to ask you to Javier uh, if if he uh, did um, F910. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did the F910. How yes, do you say person? <laughs> Very oh, okay. easy. I have uh -huh, to present like a piece of cake. Uh, it depends. You can say hand. So hand is como entregar. If that is what you want to say. Like I hand them. Yeah, no, porque él lo sube, teacher. Él ah. lo presenta, pero por medio de internet. It's so, online. If it is online, you can use upload or you can use submit. So both are good. So, oh, I'm okay. sorry. I'm sorry, I missed one letter. So you can just submit. I submitted the document or I uploaded the document. Both sound good. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so next one. Uh, okay, let me select another person here. I haven't heard. A quienes no escuchado casi. Vanessa, casi no ha escuchado su voz. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, teacher. Hello, Miss. Hello. I have a, a little question for you. So, um, can you tell us a little bit about your personality, please? Uh, personality? Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell us about your personality. The last uh, question, the blue one. Uh, bueno, sería, I am friendly. Okay. I am lo loyal and I am tidy. Okay. Those are the beautiful things. <laughs> okay. What are what about uh, some um negative aspects? Something that you would like to change about your personality? Seria chai. Oh, are you shy? Yes. Mm -hmm. y, um, no sé cuál otra teacher ok, ya no tengo negativas <laughs> <laughs> ok, so ok, so you say that you're shy 
Um, are you doing anything? ¿Está haciendo algo para cambiarlo? Are you trying to do anything to change it? Mm, bueno, tratando de participar un poco más o hablar con Very los compañeros. Nice. Okay, okay. That's nice. So, tu morro con la cámara, tú, right? <laughs> Okay. Oh, very nice. That's a really good thing that you are trying to change that. And that is very important, especialmente en inglés, you know, la única forma de mejorarlo es hablando, right? And interactuando, socializando, and aprendiendo de los demás. But very good. Uh, sounds like a very nice woman. Um, let me just select another person. Griselda, are you here? Yes, teacher. Hello. Just me. Hello. I have just one question for you. Um, Griselda, what are some activities you like to do? Um, cooking. Okay. Cooking. Um, swimming. Okay. Sería nadar. Yeah. Uh, and reading. Okay. How often do you cook? Please. Yes. How often? How often do you cook? Um. Sería que como que cocino, verdad, teacher? Um. No. How often is para frecuencia, Miss? Que tan seguido? How often? Always. Every day. Every Saturday. How often? Ah, always. Always. And do you cook like breakfast, lunch, dinner? Do you cook all of them? Yes, break, breakfast and, and la cena. And, and dinner. And dinner. Okay, so breakfast and dinner. Okay, okay, thank you so much. Okay, guys, very nice. And thank you so much for participating. So, guys, um, it's about time. Ya casi nos vamos, pero antes de terminar, Quiero que revisemos los verbos en pasado. So, I ask you uh, to check, practice, or try to memorize a couple of verbs. So, ellos incluían uh, los primeros de la lista. Let's take a look, like, how many you were able to memorize. Guys, um, like, honestamente, super honestly, ¿cuántos se han aprendido? Así, like, super, super bien. Y el eight, primero, eight, el segundo. Vanessa? Eat, eight, y eight. Algo así, eat. Ok, sir. Eat, all right. ¿Qué otros se han aprendido, guys? Which one have you learned? B, was, where. Ok, so B. Bring. Bring, de traer, ok. Uh, all right, Bring. what else? Bill. Build, okay. Greens. Buy. Buy, okay. Mm -hmm. Drive. Drive, like, manejar, Hat. right? Drive. Hat. Detener, have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, very Become. nice. Become. Mm -hmm. Think. Okay. Become, I think I heard drink. Thing. Thing. Oh, very nice. So I'm very so also. So I'm super happy. What else? Uh, work. Work. Oh, I said estaba. Very nice. Okay. What else? And sleep. Sleep. Okay. See. Which one? C? Did you say see? Like bed, watch? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Okay, very nice. That's a really good list. Now, guys, Five. in which one? Fight. Like this? Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Oh, okay. Very good. Very good. So here on the list, definitely, hay algunos que no están. There are a couple que no están en la lista, pero me alegra mucho que hayan buscado y hayan aprendido otro on your own. So let's take a look. Revisamos really quick. And uh, revisamos sobre todo los pasados, right? 
Um, so, no vamos a meternos mucho en la, en la lista de pasados participios, porque con eso van a disfrutarlo cuando lleguen por ahí el módulo 5 o 6. So, ahorita vamos a enfocarnos más en pasados. Um, so, guys, what is the pass for E? 18. Ok. So, that is eat, eight, como el número ocho, right? Guys, what did you eat today? ¿Qué comieron? What did you eat? Deme oraciones completas. I ate. I ate. Invéntenselo, make it up. I ate pizza. Okay. I ate pizza. I ate pizza, okay. I had cereal. Okay. Como el número ocho. Eight, right? So I ate. That is the one. Very nice. China walk. Okay. So you had some China walk. Now B. Mm -hmm. uh, a small uh, a slice of pizza. Okay. So a small slice of pizza. All right. Very nice. B. Vamos a dejar. No, we can include it. B tiene dos, pero B es ser o estar. Vamos a eh, revisar después la diferencia entre was and were, right? But ahorita vamos a trabajar solamente con was. Um, guys, cuéntenme a dónde estuvieron ahora. Where were you today? My I was in the park. Okay, what time? In the morning, in the afternoon, at night? Um, at night. Okay, okay. Guys, what about the rest? Where were you? I was in my, I was at my work all day long. So what about you? I was to my dentist in the morning. Ah, okay, nice. Teacher, me. I yes. was in the hospital because I am very sick. Are you serious? Were you in the hospital yeah. today? Oh, uh -huh. I'm sorry to hear that. Are you feeling better? A uh, little bit. Oh, I hope you get over soon. Sorry to hear that. And I hope it's nothing serious. Um, let me see. Vamos a ver otra de los super comunes that we have. What's this one? Drink. What is the pass of drink, guys? Ok, sí. eh, se parece mucho al pasado participio, pero vamos a hacer la diferencia. Drink, drunk, es una drunk. asper abierta y el otro es drunk. Drink, drunk, drunk. So this is drunk. So what did you drink today? Did you drink a little water? Did you drink a lot of water? Did you drink coffee? Coca-Cola. You drank some Coca-Cola. Ok, so ¿qué tomaron, guys? What did you drink? Ok, bebieron. Literal es bebé, right? Cuando hablamos de líquido. So, what did you drink? I drank too much coffee today. I drank like four or five cups of coffee. That was too much. I drank a glass of water. Water? Ok, so you drank a glass of water. Yes, Lupita? Uh, the coffee with a uh, sweet bread. Oh, okay. Nice. With Samita. Uh, no. Um, uh, no, sé cómo se, no sé cómo se dice torta. Mm, no cambiamos los nombres. Torta porque de leche. Tu Salvadorian. Ah, uh -huh. okay. But, torta de, de leche. Okay, nice. Sounds delicious. But yeah. uh, si queremos decir, uh, let me see. Pan francés, no, o el pan dulce, normalmente usamos la palabra eh, pastry. But semita, tortas, no les cambiamos pastry. nombre. Mm -hmm. okay. Otherwise, es como pastry, como un panecillo, or that's a, past a pastry kind of thing. Okay, guys, very nice. Please continue checking the rest of the verbs. Si todavía no se han aprendido alguno, go over the list. Vean los que les parecen más fáciles. Hay unos que solo cambian una letra, right? En, son 25, guys. So para esta semana, intentemos, pongámonos como meta, memorizarnos 
los 25. Son los super más, eh, los verbos más comunes que podamos encontrar en aprendiéndonos esto con solo el get que se aprenda, ya es un big deal. So, eh, miss, um, eh, una pregunta. Yes, what, did you say, eh, what did you say? Eh, but, el de pay, el de pay, b o u p h t ¿Qué es el pasado? Comprar. De buy, ajá. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Bot. Bot. Yes. Bot. Ah, okay. Lo mismo con bring. Creo que alguien me mencionó que ya se había aprendido bring de traer. El pasado de bring es brought. So bring, brought. El pasado de buy, bought. El pasado de think, de pensar. Yo pensé, I thought. El sonido es bastante similar. Thought. Uh -huh. It's Con very similar. Thought. Thought. Yes. Okay. Eh, vamos a revisar el día de mañana la pronunciación, tan, tal vez. Um, bueno, también, ¿no? tal vez también. Pero bueno, guys, intentemos siempre, you know, revisar los cinco minutos todos los días. So you can make the most of it. Guys, okay. antes de irse, solo les tomo eh, asistencia. Me ayuden con su camarita, please. Y me regalan confirmación verbal que están por acá. So, let me just check. No vi a Camilo. Camilo is not here, right? Uh, David, solo me regala confirmación, David, please. Escucha a David hace un momento, but it's going. David, Present. thank Hello. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Edwin. Not here. Um, Lupita. Eric, Abigail, Abigail está por acá, guys. Gracias, Eric. Griselda. Present, Miss. Gracias. Uh, Isaías. Present. Thank you. Yvette. Present, teacher. Thank you. Javier. Present. Thank you so much, Jorge. Present teacher. Thank you, uh, Jose Eduardo. Present teacher. Gracias, Eduardo. Carla. Luis Cruz. No he escuchado a Luis. Um, okay. Luis Castaneda. Thank you. Gracias, Manuel. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Wendy. Creo que Wendy no la he escuchado. Thank you. Suleima. La veo, but I haven't heard her. Okay, guys. Um, so thank you so much for the attendance. Uh, guys, uh, solamente pedirles siempre alguna... Ahorita, you know, estamos iniciando el módulo y estoy escuchando algunas voces, ya las reconozco y una cosa, están súper activos, pero de igual manera me gustaría escuchar algunos que se me han quedado muy calladitos, guys. No sé si todavía es por pena o están trabajando o something is going on. Algunas voces no las he escuchado. Uh, Wendy, Suleyma, casi no las he escuchado, girls. Um, I think I have Isaías, me falta escucharlo, Manuel, um, no, it's not Manuel, Eduardo, me falta escucharlos. So guys, uh, la idea es que vayamos agarrando confianza, participemos, equivóquense, please, ask questions, pero lo más importante es, es un idioma nuevo, necesitamos hablarlo para que sea más fácil, you know, eh, todo este proceso en, y podamos, you know, eh, mejorar together. That is the most important thing. So, gracias por estar acá, guys. Gracias por conectarse. No se les olvide trabajar la plataforma y los verbos también. Eh, antes que se vayan, eh, Yvette, se me regala un par de minutitos, please. Los demás, guys, estamos dismissed. Y nos vemos mañana. Have a good night, everybody. See you good tomorrow. Night. Bye. 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 Have a good one. See you tomorrow. See you. Give me just a second, me. So look at these chicos. Teacher. Hi. Yo tengo una duda. Dígame. En cuestión de la, la plataforma, las tareas. Mm -hmm. 
Fíjense que quería hacer la donde dice lo de los valores, la tarea 4. Hágame un favor, si gusta, tómale captura y envíemela al grupo. Y ahorita yo le reviso. Uh -huh. Please. And, uh, y, uh -huh. y, y escriban al grupo por si alguien más tiene la misma duda que usted tiene, la solventamos de una sola vez. Sí, porque esa duda la tenía. Ya se la mando. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, Eduardo. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. <laughs> bye, bye. Hi, David. I'm sorry. Ay, uh, I'm le voy a sorry, robar acá un par de <laughs> minutitos. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Todo lo que quiera. Bien, gracias a Dios. ¿Y usted? Qué bueno, que me alegra. Los lunes, son, los lunes son bien difíciles, you know, like for oh, everybody. Sí. Yeah, but good. I'm, I'm doing fine. I'm doing good. All right, Miss. So, well, primero quería aprovechar, eh, agradecerle por, por el tiempo. Le voy a robar un par de minutitos eh, porque mm -hmm. el one-on-one -on -one considero que es bien necesario, especialmente porque son los primeros niveles, right? Y siempre hay dudas o necesitamos eh, trabajar algo que sentimos que nos está costando y no encontramos cómo. Entonces, es como el momento para you know, trabajarlo. Eh, Miss, ¿cómo se siente? How do you feel? Eh, ¿Hay algo que le esté dando dificultades ahorita? ¿Algo que le, le pueda ayudar? Sí, ve que ahorita este, se me está costando ahorita el empiezo de este módulo. Quizás el hecho de que eh, los dos primeros fueron seguidos. Y entonces uno está un poquito más fresco, por decirlo así. Entonces de aquí de noviembre a la fecha. Ya se le mentira que <risa> Entonces hay cositas que tengo que refrescarlas, porque claro. sí, este, el, el módulo 1 y el 2, como, como le comentaba, fue seguido si íbamos al libro, por decirlo, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, ahorita me está costando un poquito, pero este, con un poquito de estudio, y como, acuérdense que estudiando y trabajando, es eh, bien difícil, ¿verdad? Más a nosotros que trabajamos, más que todo claro. el fin de semana nos, nos toca ponernos las pilas. No, pero ahorita este, la dinámica está bonita. Está bonito y este, los compañeros también este, le incentivan a uno porque hay bastantes que tienen un poquito más de fluidez. Claro, entonces agárrese de ellos you know, and, y es de aprovecharlos, right? de aprovechar el recurso que tenemos. Sí, tiene toda la razón después de casi dos, tres meses creo sí, que ajá. ustedes estuvieron en stand-by. Uh -huh. eh, va a afectar y también les soy bien honesta el móvil el inicio de este módulo es fuerte por alguna razón eh, que todavía I don't know. <ríe> Pero de aquí para adelante eh, solo son como las primeras sesiones que son muy fuertes por los temas que se tocan, pero de acá para allá ya vamos como con, con mi forma de trabajar. Entonces ya vamos un poco más, mm. más little by little, más paso a paso. Sí, sí, eh, uh -huh. Y ahorita es lo That's único que siento thing. que me está costando, o sea, volver a, a agarrar el hilo, a agarrar el hilo, sí, a exacto. conectarse, a estar, mm -hmm. yeah, I know, I know, pero poco a sí, poco sí. ya, porque se le va a volver fácil. Um, sí. Ok, first, eh, bueno, sí, eso eh, me alegra, la verdad es que me alegra mucho escucharlo y como usted dice, solamente de revisar un poquito, right? Just... Ajá, refrescar, exacto. Ya yes, refrescar un poquito. Ok, um, creo que en las clases sí se me ha quedado un poquito al margen probablemente por lo mismo. Now was like, por lo mismo. Now right? like, uh -huh, no, I'm like, ok, I want to listen to her. Quiero escucharla porque especialmente en estas clases uno se va por la voz. Entonces yo sé que alguien me estaba participando porque escucho la voz. So es súper interesante. Entonces uh -huh. vamos a hacer lo siguiente. We're going to do the following. Um, para que nos refresquemos, nos vayamos eh, recordando un poquito, you know, and uh, vayamos trabajando. Eh, yo sé que no tenemos mucho tiempo. I know eh, el tiempo es súper valioso y llegamos cansados, uh -huh. no queremos ver nada. <ríe> Pero le voy a pedir solamente, eh, intentemos esta semana, intentemos estos cinco días. And uh, le voy a pedir solamente una tarea de un minuto. So, one minute. Lo que uh -huh. vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. Uh -huh. Para hacer el proceso, eh, pues el ref 
you know, el review de todo más fácil, uh -huh. eh, hagamos lo siguiente. Si está en lunch, si está, tiene un par de minutos, llega a su casa, le voy a pedir solo un minuto, like only one minute homework. Uh -huh. Entonces, ahora pues ya terminó, ¿verdad? Pero vamos, pues le voy a pedir para lo siguiente. Para el día de mañana, para uh -huh. Tuesday, tómese un minuto de su almuerzo, solo un minuto exactamente, y mándeme un audio contándome de usted. Ah, lo okay. que usted quiera, right? Eh, lo que le gusta, lo que no le gusta, lo que usted quiera, pero exactamente un minuto, nada no más de eso. So, si está libre, no necesita escribirlo, no necesita memorizarlo, no, no necesita el diccionario, solamente agarre el, el teléfono como cuando manda una, una nota de voz, right? Que nos, uh -huh. nos sale hacia lo natural. Entonces va a ser lo mismo. Grábese, like, hi, my name is Ivette. Um, I am, y me empieza a contar, tengo tantos años, vivo no sé dónde, todo lo que revisó del módulo 1, right? Ah, okay. So vamos a hacer eso, like, para mañana. Bueno. El día miércoles vamos a hacer lo mismo, porque la idea es que nos refresquemos con vocabulario, pero tampoco que sea tan eh, demasiado, right? No, no le voy a pedir que se siente una hora a revisar. <risa> Wednesday, quiero que me hable de su daily routine. Lo mismo, un minuto, no más de un minuto. So, okay. agarro el teléfono again, and we're going to do the same. So, Thursday. <risa> Thursday, uh -huh. utilizando There is and There Are. ¿Se recuerda en There is and There Are? Mm. Por ejemplo, en mi casa, there is a bed, there is a door, there are two windows. Para ah, decir okay. lo que hay. Lo que hay. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. So, para Thursday, me va a escribir, describe. <ríe> ¿Trabaja en una oficina? Sí. Bye. Describa su oficina, describa todo lo que hay. Like, there is a notebook, there are two notebooks, um, there are two people, there is a person. So, utilizando qué es lo que hay, there is and there are, intento describir. Try to describe it. Si no recuerda, eh, eso fue tema de módulo 1, entonces revisa sus notas y ahí lo va a encontrar. There is and there are. Mm -hmm. Súper fácil. Y terminamos con Friday. So, we finish on Friday. Y en Friday le voy a pedir que utilizando los adverbs, no, le voy a escribir de un solo el que, utilizando, no sé si se recuerda, de always, uh, always never, never. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. seldom, Sometimes. hardly ever, uh -huh. todos esos, usando todas esas palabras, hable de las actividades que hacen. Talk about your work. Uh -huh. Vamos a hablar de qué es lo que hace en el trabajo. Like, in my job, I always arrive early. Um, I always uh, leave my, my work at 4 p.m. <laughs> so, lo mismo. No lo tiene que escribir, no lo tiene que... Um, solamente quizás oje su cuaderno, mm -hmm. vea lo rapidito, cómo es que se armaba e intente decirlo para que de esa forma nuestro cerebro vaya procesando más rápido en, recordemos que es una, una coordinación, cerebro, uh -huh. músculo, lengua, dientes, and everything, eh, uh -huh. para que you know, sea más fácil, right? So, okay. eh, envíeme notas de voz de un minuto máximo, one minute max. <ríe> si uh -huh. le funciona okay. de esta forma, eh, porque como vamos a hacer un repaso, si le funciona, la, uh -huh. la seguimos agregando para las próximas semanas, right? Eh, okay. para crear una cultura. Si no, buscamos qué otra forma podemos utilizar para que sea eh, mucho más amigable, mucho más friendly. Perfecto, me parece. Eh, si no lo quiere escribir en el grupo, me lo puede mandar personal o si no, mándelo al grupo. No hay problema. <risa> okay. so Ay, you're fine. Ahí están todos, pero no hay problema. <risa> Nadie Tiene más conoce. audiencia. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, no sé si tiene otra duda para mí, ya le quité más tiempo. <risa> no, está bien, está bien. No, ahorita, ahorita bien es solamente eso, refrescar. Ah, yeah, perfecto, si mm. tiene dudas con algo, cómo utilizar algo, revisa sus notitas y si no, escríbame y lo revisamos, no hay problema. No worries. Okay, perfect. Gracias, Miss, por su tiempo. Bueno, Nos vemos gracias. mañana. See you tomorrow. Adiós, night. Bye-bye, have a good night.